This live stream is being brought to you by Reed Spring High School's Advanced Video Production Media Team. Thank you for watching and enjoy the event. Tonight's stream is being brought to you by Millennium Bowl, where the good times roll, and Kay's Coffee, where relaxation brews. Welcome back, everybody, to the Respring the Lang for Game One District against the Nevada Tigers. It is, however, a sad day in Respring, losing a fellow student, Hayden. He fought long and hard against uh, cancer. Sadly, he was passed away today. I, everybody asked for thoughts and prayers. Go out to his family. Keep his keep him in your prayers, especially for his family and friends down here. Well, this is a very exciting game today. I am excited. Yes, Josh. However, this we are going to have a good game tonight. Yes, for sure. I mean, it is the first round of districts, if I'm correct. And so that means... So what does that mean? So that, if that means if we lose tonight, then we're out. We're out. Our season is over if we lose this game. However, if we win this game, we will be playing against, um, I believe, either Mount Vernon yeah. or whoever they're playing tonight yeah, as well. I, I can't remember who Mount Vernon's playing, but I mean, I mean, Mount Vernon's a great team, so I mean, they might have, so I mean, chances of them is winning's pretty high, but you never know, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying if they win and then we win, I mean, that would be very hard, because I mean, we had beat them be before, we had beat uh, Nevada, but I mean, we have some crucial players out, like, Colin Cramblin and also Cody, Cody Hughes, Hughes as well. Yes, I mean, and those players play a huge part. So here goes kickoff. See their players holding the helmets up for Hayden tonight. Decent kick. Ball receiver around the 25, breaking a few oh. tackles. My, my coat. Oh. Number 88 right there, getting to the 40 yard line. That being Tanner. Gottschall, and he is a senior. It is a little chilly outside, Ross, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little cold right now. I'm guessing the mm -hmm. players aren't any more than us either. It is pretty cold. It is supposed to get a little windy tonight as well, but according to the weather, that it's not supposed to get really uh, wet outside. It's not going to rain. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't know about you. I'd rather have it be rain and hot than... Something stop it. Oh, that's close. Second 
that was a great uh, pass block right there. By Seth Stamps. By Seth Stamps and also Matt, Matt Allison. Matt Allison. Yes, great defense right there. I mean, that was great to see because honestly, like, looking at some of the film from the past couple games, I mean, there was, I mean, our pass defense was not the greatest. We whatsoever. did get beat a lot. From Aurora, Aurora was a mostly throwing team last week. Yeah. Mainly sticking to, sticking to there rather than the ground. Oh, a huge run right here and see if they can get it. 40, brought down around the 30. 30, there is a flag on the play. However, the ball carrier was Jaron Pori. See what the flag is here. I mean, I bet the coaches, I mean, I mean, well, just imagine being a coach right now, I mean, I mean, your mentality has to be huge, because, I mean, it's a do-or-die situation right now, you know? Mm -hmm. Very big game, biggest game of the season. I believe we're coming in to the districts as a number two seed, being that's a pretty good, decent seed. Yeah. But they're on, it's going to be first and 14. That was a good stop right there by the Wolves. But and there is the, a flag on the play, however. Yeah, flag on the play. Uh, it was a holding call, but I can see, I'm pretty sure it was on the offense, but we will find out. Yes, holding on the offense. So now it would be second down and 20. Play action. That got stopped. That got stopped by a pack of wolves right there. Our defense really needs to step up. Last week we were kind of getting beat on the throwing as well as the running from Aurora. So tonight they're really going to have to step up if they want to continue their season. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like the wolves just sort of realized this. I mean, the last couple games they look kind of like tired and just not like into the game. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, like a, a completely different mentality. We're seeing. Not really seeming as rested as they usually are. Yeah. Let's see what they do Quarterback right hands it off. Ooh, brought down by Seth Stamps. That would be close for a first down. We will see. It's not a third down and eight. Ball is on the 14-yard line. So depending how well their kicker is, they could come out of this with three points. Yes, for sure. I mean, they're clearly in the range for it, so we'll see. They're going for the pass, it looks like. Well, to the right. Grant Clark trying to put some pressure on him. So it's Brandon Akins. And they're stopped from right Brought there. down by Al Chavez, number I mean, that, 85. I mean, that's always great to see that our walls are stepping up like this. I mean, yeah, I mean... They did get down the field, but we were still stuffing up big right here and stopping them. Looks like it was a fourth and eight. Ball is back on the 16-yard line. So now it's fourth and 12. It looks like they will be going for this. That's a, <laughs> that's a risky move right there, Ross. But usually coming out of play and aggressive in this game, Really showing what they're trying to do and get ultimately want to yeah. win this game. Yeah, and that was a huge stop right there, and it would be Wolves ball. See me? I mean, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't want to risk it. I want to secure some points on the board, you know? So, I mean, those three points in a high school game can change everything. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Being that most kickers cannot make a very long kick, yeah. that may be the cause for Nevada, Nevada's uh, play call there. Yeah. We have played them once already this year. I believe the very first game, yeah, and we did beat them by did, a fairly large amount. Uh, well, I can't remember the scores. No, it was like 45 to 14, I believe. Flag on the play. There's, so been, there's already been three flags so far in this game, and it's, it's still nine, 9.30 left in the first quarter. I mean, 
I'm get to I guess we're gonna kinda see how this game's gonna be. Matt Allison is in as fullback tonight, replacing Colin Cranblett as well as Cody Hughes. Two key players being replaced because of in injuries. Yeah. Cranblett also being the kicker is being replaced with Steph Samps tonight. We saw Steph Samps perform decent well decently at the last game in Aurora. He did miss one uh, extra point, however. Yeah. Looks like running up the middle stop pretty quick. The ball keeper looks to be Blake Rombold. A lot of these players are really looking to get far further than this game and next week, being their last season on the team. You never. Most of the kids are seniors this year. Yeah. Blake Grombold, Seth Stamps. I think it's around like 13 seniors. Oh, that was a great run right there. By Blake Grombold. And now during the first down, around the 30-yard line. Most of our offense is seniors. Yeah. Being our seniors tonight are Blake Grombold, Cole Watson, Justin Miller, Park Maloney. Um, Cole Watts and a few other guys. That player stopped up pretty quick. Matt Allison was the keeper. So, Josh, coming in this game, confidence level should be high. Beating Aurora last week by coming back, really, yeah. and putting 27 points up when they only did 17. Yeah. So 10 unanswered points. So what do you think the mentality is them going into this game? Do you think they're more confident now that they beat Aurora? I mean, yeah, for sure. Cause, I mean, Aurora, I mean, they beat us pretty badly. I mean, they did. Aurora? We beat Aurora, oh, we beat Aurora. last week, oh, yes. Oh, my apologies. So we beat Aurora. I mean, and I feel like that really boosts the mentality a lot. Cause I mean, you know what? Like we're coming off the fresh of a win, and now we're going to go to districts, do die situation. And if you, clearly, if you come off a win, your offense is already clicking. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I mean they're ready for this game. Maybe we'll see some more passes on to the wide receivers. One being Cole Watson out of standout performance, the very first yeah. game. There I mean, is a run up the middle by Blake Grombold. I mean, I was unable to attend the last, week, uh, last week's game for a while, so did they really pass a lot that game? Uh, the Aurora Hound Dogs did pass a bunch of the plays. More than half the plays were pass plays, but Reed Spring, however, did not pass as many balls. It was, If so, it was a screen pass towards uh, Seth Sams or JT Baylift. Yeah. Blake Ronald's looking for a pass. Scrambling, oh. guy behind him. Gets it off. Oh, Ooh, that was close. Tip just right at the hands of Matt Allison. I mean, that was great hustle by number 56 right there uh, on Nevada. I mean, trying to get that stop. He, brought, he broke through that line very well. Looks like our line tonight is Parker Maloney, and it looks like we have a freshman in there, number 76. I believe that is Blaine Blevins. I believe Blaine Blevins is in there as well, playing a few snaps. And from talking to some of the upper class, I mean, and some of our friends, they said, I mean, Blaine has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. for, I mean, for the game, so I mean, that's always great to He'll see. He'll be a huge impact next year as well. Yeah. I mean, he's only freshman too, so I mean, mm -hmm. just imagine senior year. It'll be very good. So, in other news, we have one of our wrestlers competing in um, nationals this weekend, that being one of the, the largest uh, wrestling um, tournament in the country, and that's up in Iowa. Clayton Johnson is competing in that. Um, tomorrow and Sunday night. Uh, that's, that's great to hear. I mean, so, 
I mean, that, that kind of really shows how good the athletics, mm -hmm. like how serious we are. We had three athletes. wrestlers go to state last year, so it's going to be yeah. a pretty interesting year this year. Oh, touchdown run by Seth Stamps right there. That was great. Seth Stamps broke a few tackles, was able to get in there and get those six points. But back to wrestling, uh, Clayton Johnson's really improved. He placed third last year in, uh, in state. Yeah. So we had three kids go up there and place, and so Quinn Johnson's really improving his wrestling since freshman year. Yeah, and, and now he's going up to nationals. Nationals. So. It'll yeah. be very, uh, I'm excited to see what he can do in state this year. Maybe he can win it. Yeah. It looks like the Wolves are going to try to go for two right here. I mean, I feel like that's what we're going to be doing all game to get a touchdown because, I mean, I mean, like, Seth is a great player, but, I mean, he hasn't really practiced a lot in kicking, so, I mean. Mm -hmm. So, they will be trying to go for the two points. Blake Gronwald is the keeper. And he gets it right there. He does get the two points. <laughs> I mean, that's great to see our Wolves on their first drive and get a score and plus a two-point conversion. Mm -hmm. Very good to see, especially as you said, being their first drive of the night. Eight to zero, six minutes left in this first quarter, Josh. What do the what do we need to do to improve our defense? I mean, I feel like you can kind of try. I mean, stop like uh, the running. I mean, because I mean they are against some decent runs and all that. So I mean, if we just really, I mean, because our defense are already great right now. I mean, if we really just cap off on stopping the running game, I mean, then I mean that that will help us so much. Very much so. We did let them get down there and almost score on us, but we're able to hold them for the stop. Decent kick right there. High kick. Gonna be received around the 20 yard line. Goes up to the sideline. Pushed out of bounds around the 35. That was a decent return right there. He's, he's a couple moves, going a couple extra yards. Mm -hmm. Very in, uh, well teams on both sides. Very talented as well. Yes. Ball is running hit hard by Seth Stamps. I mean, well, how we just talked about right there about stopping the running play, we just we're at a huge drop right there. So, we just, well, some curveball things like that, then we should be in great condition to win this game. Very much so. Run play right here by the quarterback. Stopped around at 35 once again. All right, so here at the, the Nevada Tigers do right here. Pass play, and it is dropped. That pass ball is incomplete.
It's now fourth and ninth, and the Tigers will be punting it away. Very good stop by the defense. Decent punt right there. Picked up around the 30. Sus stamps. Through the 40. To the 50. Breaking more tackles. The 45. The 30. The 20. 15. 10. And that's a touchdown. Sus stamps. That Look at that. Good. That was very yeah. good blocking and run. That was great to see right there. That was. Shout out to the blocking right there. Really yeah. coming in and blocking for his ultimately set to get that touchdown. Looks like they will be going 4 2 on this play. Rumbled under center. Seth Stamps in the backfield. There is a flag on the play. False start on the offense. Little miscommunication right there. On the offensive side of the ball. I'm going to push us back. Maybe we will go for the two again since Colton Crime being out. That two-point conversion is no good. And it's okay, I mean, we're still up by two scores right now. So, I mean, I'm guessing they're not too worried about that right now. Right now, the, the coaches are talking to the Wolves right now, I'm kind of getting them hyped up and get them ready for the next couple plays. They're playing very well right now, scoring and scoring 14 points in this first quarter. Cameron Essick is going to kick this ball off to start. Uh, Nevada on their territory. Oh, there is a fumble on the play. the Wolves ball. They do single it as the Wolves ball. Josh, big player right there. Being a, forcing two turnovers, one being a touchdown, then they're punting it off. They punted it, we score on that, and then they kick off, we get the ball back. Yeah, I mean, it just really shows how much, like how much this defense really improved. Mm -hmm. Cameron Estick is in as wide receiver, off to the right side of the field. Seth Stamps is in the backfield. Blake Gromel is looking for a pass, goes downfield right there, and that's a touchdown. JT Bailey. 
What a throw and what a catch. That's going to put the Reed Spring Wolves up 20 to 0 in this first quarter. All right, let's see if the Wolves can convert two right here. Ben Moore is in at fullback. And it is good. The handoff to Ben. It's number 24, it hits, the, hits Blake Grombold, even though he did not, he got the ball, got rid of the ball very before that, early. That two point conversion. Did that fall good, Josh? I'm not meaning it looked good to me. It was good. The rest finally initiated that it was good. It took him a little while. Your district game one right now, Reed Spring 22, Nevada Tigers zero with four minutes left in this first quarter. Cameron Essick to kick the ball off. Little squib kick right there. Really going to push him back. That's going to be a touchback. So That's going to put him up their own 20. Mount Vernon, as, uh, as you can see on the screen, the power rankings are coming in. Mount Vernon is ranked third right here. It's number three seed. Quarterback is going to hand the ball off. No, he's going to keep the ball. However, there is a flag on that play. I'm really excited what the Tigers can do right now because, I mean, First Tigers are kind of team caught team up right now. They don't really know. I mean, they're going to stop kind of like every play. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping to see the Tigers kind of catch up right here and get a good play in. I'm not hoping to see that, however. I know. Well, I mean, I'm saying, like, I mean, I don't want to help any team to do bad. But I'm saying, like, I, want, I mean, it would be nice to just see the Tigers do something good. Quarterback is on a shotgun. The ball is hand off to the right side. So when you think about I mean, the Tigers start doing something good, I mean, it'd be a good football game. Brought down by Blake Gromvold. Stop by number 22, Matt Allison. Second down to 16 from the debate. Yeah, Josh, you're right there saying that this could be a game just like the first game, how it went. Yeah. Quarterback is going to keep it, or no, it's a handoff. Trick the camera as well as me. <laughs> I, mean, he, he, I mean, the quarterback's done that the last three plays right there. So. Yeah, Josh, they haven't run much different plays 
other than that right sweep kind of deal. I mean, it's also the same thing with the race from Wolves. We're always running pretty much mm -hmm. the same up the middle running plays. Mm -hmm. Very much. Really the same plays over and over again you see in high school football. <laughs> Unless you are one of the top high schools in the country. However, we are not. <laughs> Isn't that third and twelve? How is it? Is it, is it third down? It is third down, Josh. It doesn't feel like it. Third and twelve. Quarterback's looking for a pass. Oh, Grant this, Clark chasing him down. Open. Ooh, Grant Clark hits him hard from behind. I mean, he has some guys open. I mean, it's just. Number one. I guess the just on the vision. Oh, no, that's gonna be fourth down, down right there. Josh is not Josh. Grant, very tough kid. Yeah. Being able to, he's out, he can throw anybody around he wants to. Yeah, I mean, Grant's one, easily one of the strongest kids on the team right now. Mm -hmm. Easily. I mean, Does not like to get mad has... very much, though. Doesn't like to hurt anybody. He's a... Well, it's not, it's not what he does in the hallway. Gentle, gentle <laughs> giant. <laughs> Finger punt the ball. Low punt right there. Bounces out, the bounds around the uh, 40, 42. Four, yeah, 44, 42. Max Milner in, getting his really first early game appearance as wide receiver. Usually you see him on the field as a kick returner or blocker on kickoffs, but yeah. this is good to see him in here. He is in as a slot. Blake Roman is going to pitch it off yeah. to Max. Max has them all. Max Miller breaks. He tackles around the 30, 35. Really fast kid right there, being I mean, able to see the field and have really good vision. No, also, that was a great play. I mean, it looked like they were, you know, do the, the Wolves fair, run up the middle. I mean, probably Blake was going up the middle. But I mean, they also, Max come all the way from, like, the right side of the field, run all the way across. Grab it and, and run all the way to the left. I mean, that takes great stamina and speed to do that. And About a 20 yard gain, too. Yeah, I mean, it's just great to see that right there. Blake Rumbled is keeper. Gain of only a few yards right there. That lead blocker being number 76, Parker Maloney. Number one, Jared. Seth stamps in the backfield. Blake Grumbled hands it off to Seth. Seth breaks few tackles, brought down around the 15 yard line. Number three, Seth stamps with the first down run. Stop by number 24, Case There's now a first down, and the ball is on the 14 yard line. Josh, how do you think we will play against, say, Mount Vernon, being one of the toughest teams we face all year? I mean, we I mean, just be you, honestly. I mean, just be the team you are. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. to me, if we come out this way, I mean, we clearly have the confidence. I mean, just be the team you are. I mean, and don't be afraid. I feel like, I mean, just go out there. Be confident. Yeah, be confident. Just play your best ball and then see what happens because I mean that's what we did last time when we came out the huge win. It is going to be second and second down on the five yard line. Matt Allison with a big gain right there. Bring him in to uh, the end zone. Blake Rollins looking for a pass. Throws it. Ooh, incomplete. That pass was intended for number 85, Al Chavez. Al Chavez switching back to number 85. Last week he did play in the number four. Switching over to the wide receiver position, but back to a tight end tonight.
But it is a touchdown, Reed Spring. I mean, that was another great touchdown. I mean, the Wolves are just great, getting all these great opportunities right now, and they're really scoring on. Looks like they are going to try a field goal here. Cole Watson is the ball holder. So stamps the kicker tonight. Not as good. That kick is no good. Oh, it's no good. off to the right side. Uh, I mean, from the view we had, I mean, it looks uh, it's good, but. Score being here, 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Nevada Tigers, zero, Respring Wolf, 28. <laughs> Cameron Essex to kick this ball off. Good kick right there. He's around the five-yard line, looking for some blockers. Gets through around to the 27-yard line. Josh, what do you think the offense right here for the Nevada Tigers need to do to get down there and score? I mean, if they wash, fell on the walls, I mean, they clearly they have to just get the passing game done, like just down. And then once they get the passing game down, I mean, then hopefully they'll get, get some pretty good yards. As you said much before, the one thing the Wolves do need to improve on is their passing yeah, defense. So, yeah, so, I mean, if the Tigers, you know, wash the film about the walls, while I'm watching games filming, they'll know that, and then they'll ho hopefully seize opportunity. That is the end of the first quarter. Your score here being Nevada Tigers 0, Reed Spring Wolves 28. Big turnout tonight, Josh. For this district game, and it being a very cold one, we've had a lot of good turnouts for the away games as well. Yeah. Very a plus in this Reed Spring fan base. Yeah, because I mean, our school is doing the, the blackout, or I mean, all the student section just dresses in all black, black out the whole student section. So I mean, that's really cool for the players to see. Mm -hmm.
Second and seven, the ball is stopped short. It looks like it is going to be good enough for a first down, however. Second and seven balls on the 42 yard line. Quarterback's looking for a pass. Looking downfield on the right side. Throws deep downfield. That oh. ball is almost intercepted. Oh, Initially close. batted out of the way by Blake Rombold. That was close. Third and seven, ball still on the 42 yard line. Quarterback's under shotgun. Looks like there is a flag on the play. There's so much flags. There's a yeah, false so start. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a lot of flags so far in this game. Yes, this is gonna push them back five yards. Quarterback's looking to run it right here on third and 12. He's going to be oh. hit hard right there by two wolves. No, that was a pretty hard hit right there. I'm not going to lie. That is going to be bring up fourth down. Fourth down and six from the Nevada 44 yard line. Looks like they will punt this ball on fourth and six. High punt. That ball goes out of bounds around the 39, around the 49. First and ten, ball on the 47-yard line. Blake Gromwell hands it off to Seth Stamps. Seth Stamps fighting for a big gain. Stop pretty quick by the defense. That's going to bring up third and three. Let's see if the Wolves can get the first down right here. 
So they get the first down and more. Number three sets the stage with the first down run. Tackle by number 28, Justin Guy. That's going to be first and 10, ball on 39-yard line. Blake Gromwell looking for a pass. Ooh, throws right over the hands of Cole Watson. Second and ten, ball still on 39 yard line. Eight minutes left to go in this quarter. Hand off to JT Baylift. I mean, no, those are like a big man play right there. You just saw him, he was just trucking through the whole line right there. So I mean, that's really good to see for JT. JT has been doing that all year. Hope to see more of it next year, him being a junior. Third and two, ball on the 32 yard line. Ben Moore in as fullback. He hand off to Ben Moore. Ben Moore breaking a few tackles. Brought down around the 19 yard line. Ben Moore in the backfield again. Looks like they're handed back to Ben. Ben breaking more yards down around the six yard line. Ben Moore usually plays middle linebacker, but tonight he is going to play a few snaps as the fullback. You know, that was great to see by Ben right there. I mean, he really doesn't play that position at all, and he's coming in and making the six yard line. Ben Moore still in at the fullback position. Ben Moore fighting for the yards. Just shy of the end zone. Second down and goal from the Nevada one yard line. Second and ten, ball on the one yard line, so second and goal. And that is one up right in the middle for Ben Muller, and that would be a touchdown. Oh, I know. My apologies, it's not Ben Muller. That is a touchdown, oh, Ben Muller, number 52. Looks like we will be going for a two-point conversion here, trying to put it up 36 to zero. Boy, Gromble is looking to throw it. Ooh, that pass is caught by Cameron Essex. That two-point conversion is good. That was a great catch with their body. 
Karasik. In coverage as well. by Cameron. Chase him down right there. Oh, he's still going. Ooh, hit by Cameron Essick. Oh, that was a big man shot right there. Cameron didn't even talk to him. He grabbed him and shot him out of bounds. Looking for a short pass right there. Able to catch number 28. That being... Justin Guy. short of the first down. He's gonna bring up a third down right there. Ball is gonna be spotted on the 43 yard line. for some opening room to run. Find some, but hit by Seth Stam. Some Max Milner as well. I mean, it's really cool to see Max out there on the defense also. I mean, it's really, I mean, it's really cool in general to see Max being out there and getting some playing time, a lot of it. It's gonna be a first and 10 ball on the 49 yard line. Second and ten.
first and ten, ball on the 36 yard line. Second and goal. Your second, second down. There is a penalty on the play on the defensive ball. minutes left to go in this first half of the game. First and 10, the ball on the 24 yard line. Let's see what happens right here. Oh, Hands it off. Decent run right there. Oh, hard hit right there on Blake Gromble. Blake Gromble not expecting that, being the quarterback, not really used to those big hits. Although being sacked. First and ten, ball on the nine yard line. Let's see what those Tigers do out here. Ooh. That was a great hit right there. By Ben Moeller. Number nine, Caden Diddy with the run. Stop by number 52, Ben Moeller. There's only two minutes left and 25 seconds left in this quarter, and the score is Wolves 36, Tigers 0. And then it's currently second down. Second goal, and ball on the nine yard line. Looks like he's going to hand it off. There is a flag on the play, though. Second goal, ball on the four yard line. Ooh, oh, quarterback that. tries to throw it, but then it's no good. That was a very close pass right there. Bring, gonna bring up third down. There's only two minutes remaining left in this first half. I feel like this is a very crucial moment right now for the Tigers. Gonna run it Running in for the touchdown. Oh! That would be close. Oh, he is down, probably running like the second yard line, the first. It, it's close for sure. My view it did look like he got it, but however, that was the leading blocker, and people were distracted by him. Yeah. Uh, Looks like it, that is no, that's not going to be in the touchdown. They're going to be on the one yard line. Ross, it's fourth down and one. Can you, can you go for it? Well, they're going to go for it either way. One yeah. kicking it or trying to get this uh, touchdown I mean, here. Yeah. But 
I mean, it's on the one yard line. They're losing by 36. I mean, I just go for the touchdown. Mm -hmm. Looks like they will try that. They're kind of in team huddle, seeing what play they need to run. I mean, I'm guessing. I mean, all the the whole pack of wolves is going to run up the middle and try to stop it. Timeout called on Nevada Tigers. right now can get this huge stop. Fourth and one. Let's see if the Tigers can score right here on this play. Quarterback in shotgun. He's going to keep the ball for himself. Oh, Ooh, that's in for it. a touchdown. Nevada Tigers. He did get that touchdown. That's six points there for the Nevada Tigers. The score is still going to be 36 to 6. They're going to attempt the field goal. And this thing looks like they got it, and it is good. That's going to be 37 to 7. Let's see what the Wolves can do on this kick return. Tigers are kicking it off right now. Oh, it's just... It's an onside ball. kick. Diving yeah. on the ball is Reed Spring. They got me. I'm not going to lie. I was really hyped for that kick. And then... There's an uh, onside kick recovered by Reed Spring. Number 50, Luke Ferry. Grommel's looking for a pass. Scrambling out of the pocket. Going to keep this for himself. Ooh, gets a big truck right there. Second down of the 
one. From the Nevada 44 yard line. It's going to be second and one, ball in the 44. Number three, Seth stands with the first down run. Walk. First and ten, ball is spotted on the 34-yard line. Bulls are looking to pass it. Blake Ron was scrambling out of pocket. Ooh, cuts around field. Brought down on the 25-yard line. It is first down, and there was a foul call on the wall, so we'll bring him back. We play first down. In the 34-yard line. Number three, Seth stamps with the run. Talk about number 24, Jace Lee, and number 78. Gavin Urquidez. Forty-nine seconds left to go in this half. There is a turnover on down. Big run on the left side. Push out of bounds just shy of the first down. Stop by number 25, Preston LeHue. Second down and two from the Nevada 35 yard line. for a pass and it, it is complete. That was a decent pass right there by the Tigers. 
Pass by number one, Jared Powery. Caught by number 12, Carter Swearingen. Big run right there. There is a there is a flag on the play. There was a foul on the play against the offense. 25 seconds left to go in this first half. <laughs> Set first and 25. It's a handoff number six. Ooh, big stop right there by Cameron. Hit very hard right there. Number six with a run. Tackled in the backfield by number seven, Cameron Essen. That may bring up the end of this half. It is now second and 25. The, the clock the the seems paused right now. Because there was a timeout call. My apologies, sorry, it is second and 30 right now. Well, so I feel like I mean, that was kind of like a silly timeout because I mean, it's second and 30. The ball on the opposite side of the field can be a touchdown, so why would you even like. And 18 seconds left. You know, they're just trying to stay in this game any way they can, so they can get a play down there. All right, let's see what the Tigers do right here. Handoff pass. Oh, and it is caught. Oh, he did drop his knee though. That is going to bring up the second half. Your score going in at the end of the first half is Nevada Tiger 7, Reed Spring Wolf 6. We'll be back after this break waiting a few messages.
Inside my heart there's an emptiness A heavy head on a hollow chest So spoken like a disease Is the way to incomplete me Can you shake this all night? Shoot my breath to the highest height Tell your truth or Inside my heart there's an emptiness A heavy head on a hollow chest So spoken like a disease Is the way to incomplete me Can you shake this all night? Shoot my breath to the highest height Tell your truth or trust a lie Is this hello? Is this the
is low I'm looking for Inside my heart there's an emptiness A heavy hate on a hollow chest So spoken like a disease Is a way to incomplete me Can you shake this so much? Shoot my breath to the highest height Tell your truth or trust a lie Is this hello? Is this the
Alrighty, welcome back everybody to this uh, game right now, this home game. The Wolves have 36 and the Tigers have 7. I mean, it is a close game so far. I mean, we're, I mean, we're seeing some good stuff on both sides. I mean, the Wolves, I mean, the run, the run game is, is clicking right now. It's really showing. The Tigers, I mean, I mean, they got their first score kind of late in the, in the first half. But, I mean, it's a score nonetheless. I mean... They're, and they're showing a lot of improvement from definitely from the beginning of the game. I mean, their defense is, I mean, slowly stepping up. So is their offense. I mean, you know, it's just really great to see that overall. And I mean, I'm guessing the coaches are talking to both of the teams right now. Things they can improve on. I mean, that, and, so. Also, we're kind of seeing a big game right now from so Grant Clark. I mean, he has some huge tackles in the beginning. Some, some also some really hard tackles. I mean, which is also just great to see because he's coming out playing super physical. He's playing his hardest right now. And, I mean, he's been rushing the passer. And he's been doing all the different things right now. Also, another player that's been really stepping up a lot is Cameron Essig. He has some, he has some huge, he has some huge tackles, and he's doing really good right now. He also had a uh, two point conversion. So Ross, who's kind of like your player of the half so far? Like, who are you kind of looking at right now that's doing really good? Seth Stamps really playing both sides of the ball very well. Having a few touchdowns, a run and a catch. But he did miss that extra point, which is perfectly fine. He does not play kicker. So he's my player of the half. I think he could be the player of the game. I think mine, I think mine right now is maybe Grant Clark defensively because, I mean, he has some huge plays defensively. He's always rushing the passer, and he had some huge tackles. In the very first much half. so. Grant, very big playmaker, getting on there on both sides of the ball, uh, sometimes as well. well luckily, luckily, they were doing this and not doing this. So Ross, I mean, in the first half, who do you like? What does the Tigers need to do to improve on to maybe come back in this game? Communication. Communication is a big key factor. In this game, for both teams, we've seen uh, miscommunication uh, coming along with flags. And ultimately, for the Nevada Tigers, that is um, really their main problem tonight. Yeah. How about for the race from the Wolves? Really, there's nothing much we improve on except being able to stop those defenses more than how we that than what we have had. Yeah.
So, Russ, what do you think maybe the Tigers are talking to the... Like, what do you think the Tiger coaches are kind of talking to the players right now? For the Reed Spring size, saying, keep up what you're doing and what we've been doing, and let's get this win. Yeah. Come out here, go to next week, play in the district's uh, game two. And then on the Nevada side, they're just trying to keep their heads up, trying to get through this game and put some more points on the board. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, my encouragement, honestly, would be like, you know, I mean, it's, it's a do-die situation. So let's go out there and just play our hearts out and try to get this win. Very much so. I think, I think there's a chance for them to come back. But what we've seen from their defense and offense, I think we're, it's going to be very difficult, too. Yeah. Eighteen seconds left to go until the second half gets underway. You can kind of see right now the see, players warming up. The bad players getting warmed up, getting ready to come out in this second half and put some points on the board. Great spring wolves getting hyped up, ready to go and finish out this game. We're back here to start the third start the third quarter. 
second half. The Tigers kick it off. Decent kick around the 25. Right down around the 33 yard line, Josh. Good guess, Ross. Good guess. Getting better. Wake Gromwald under center set stamps behind him. Matt Allison motion. He's going to hand off to Seth Stamps. Seth Stamps fighting for some yards close to the first Three down. Second one, ball is on the 42 yard line. Seth Stamps breaking tons of tackles right there. Brought down around 35 yard line. Stamps in the backfield. First and ten. Ball is on 35 yard line. Blake Gromble hands it off to Seth Stamps. Ooh, Blake Gromble hit hard after that. That was a very late hit. Surprised there's not a flag there. Blake Gromble clearly had the ball out of his hands. But number 24 decided to hit him. Number 24 being Jace Lee. That was a very dirty play, Lee. But it's okay. I mean, the Tigers are sometimes... It's called football, Ross. Still, you need to be protecting your guy. Say, hey, if this is my situation, would I want my quarterback to be hit like that? No, they wouldn't. Because right now, I know frustration is the best one, but they're trying to show off their strength, which they don't really have. We've seen 7-36. Seven and, seven and Touchdown, Seth Stamps. Number three, Seth Stamps with the touchdown run. Two-point conversion is good. Blake Rombo, that scores him to put up 44 to 7.
referee to screen number seven, Cameron Essex. The walls are about to kick off. Cameron Essex kicked this ball off. Nine minutes left to go in this third quarter. Cameron Essex kicked this ball off. Good kick, kick by Cameron. That's a great kick. That's fielded around the 10 yard line. Oh, what? I didn't know. Little know trick play right there. It does yeah. not work. And Blake Gromble, not Blake Gromble, Blake Gromble is down there. However, Grant Clark gets that tackle. I'm seeing a lot of Grant Clark right now getting those big tackles in. Grant Clark read that play like a book. Here goes the Tigers. Number 10, Colby O'Connell with the run. Stop by number 52, Ben Lowell. Second down and nine from the Nevada 27 yard line. That pass is incomplete, intended for a screen pass to number 10. Pass from number one, Jaron Powery, intended for number 10, Colby O'Connell. Third down and nine from the Nevada 28 yard line. Oh, I see the, what the Third Tigers nine. can do. Oh, thank you, Ross. <laughs> looking for a pass. That pass cool. is bad away by Seth Stamps. I mean, as you can see, the Wolves passing defense has I mean, improved so much from the past couple games, which is great to see. Yeah. It is going to bring up fourth and nine. Fourth down and nine from the Josh, based off what we've seen here tonight, and what we've seen based on the other games, do you think we've improved throughout the season, or do you think we, as well, I would say, we went through some ups and downs in the season, being really good the first part, and then we went down some and yeah. the, in a couple of weeks, and then went back up? I mean, I feel like I mean, we are getting better, obviously. I mean, even if we do lose, I mean, that's a way of getting better. But I feel like this game right now, I mean, it is 44 to 7, so I mean, assuming if we do win this game, I mean, I feel like it'll be huge for our confidence if we go into the next round.
Brian Wright. Blake Grom will break the tackles no. down around the 44 yard line. That was a great run right there by Blake. Stop by number 21, Peyton. Josh, so Blake Grom being a senior, I know it's a little early, but who do you think is going to fill in his role at the defense position as well as quarterback? I mean, you think it would be obvious the second string quarterback, which is Sean Gross. Sean Gross, I mean, he is a second string quarterback, so I mean, maybe him. You know, I feel like we just have to wait and see. A lot of people I've heard saying uh, JT Bailiff, he played quarterback in eighth grade as well, and some of his freshman year. But Grom looking for pass. That pass looks like it's intercepted, but they're calling it incomplete. I mean, they might be saying that, but I mean, we truly do not know until the, the season comes. Because I mean, he has—he's never played quarterback since then, and we all—we've seen Sean get some playing time all over him. Second and ten. Ball spotted on the 39-yard line. Boy, Gronk is going to keep it. He has an open room right there. Ooh, down. Oh, fumble. It looks like he was down before the fumble. Maybe a late hit and jarred that ball loose. See what the refs have to say. Holding on the offense. That's going to push the Wolves back a few. Second down and 11 from the Nevada 40 yard line. Number 22 right there, breaking a few tackles. Number 22 Allison. being Matt Allison. Great play right there for the first down. Looks like the ball was called back again. It's going to be second and about 15. Matt Allison, the ball carrier, is going to bring up fourth down. Wolves ball, fourth and six. Fourth and six, let's see what the Wolves do. Matt Allison, the ball keeper, gets a first down and more. Brought down around the 21 yard line. That was a good run by Matt. Matt Allison with the first down run. Stopped by number 21, Caden Ask. The 
first down and 10 from the Nevada. 21 yard line. First and 10 on the ball in the 21 yard line. Josh, if you ever speak above me, that was a great one by Matt right there. Great opening. But there is a flag on the play. I guess we can wait to find out, Ross. I hope you know I'm joking. You're starting you're to say some. Mad. You're starting to say some really hurtful things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The what part? Miss Pryor thing. Yeah, I hope she gets fired. All right, let's see what the Wolves can do right here. First and safe. That was a great run up the middle. Uh, it would be first down and around like the two yard line. It's going to be bring up second down. It looks like they're just going to run down the clock right now. This is going to bring us in the fourth quarter. Third down and goal from the Nevada one yard line. I mean, that was. So, then in the quarter, Ross, so what do you think that. Did, I feel like these teams really didn't improve or disapprove of anything. I just feel like it's been the same pretty much the whole game. Mm hmm. Very much so. Reese Spring Wolves have stepped up very much in their uh, past defense after these few games, especially Aurora, where they threw most of the game right there, as well as here being their kind of throwing slash run team. Yeah. And really stepping up, showing what they can do. Third and goal. Ball is spotted on the one-yard line. Sean Gross is in at quarterback. 
as well as number 12 for the race ring in at fullback. Number 12 being Jaden Herman. That would be close. It is Please. a touchdown by uh, Sean Gross. That's going to bring the score 50 to 7. Looks like they will attempt the PAT. But Ben Moeller is in there to attempt it now. Eight seconds to get this playoff. Oh, we close. They didn't get it. That is going to be a delay of game on the Wolves. Alright, it looks like the Wolves are still going to try for the attempt. Looks like the kick is good. Ben Moore with the PAT. Reed Spring set to kick it off. Onside kick attempt right there. Looks like the ref singled it as Nevada's ball. Josh, you kind of see people leaving, going out and leaving. Score being 51-7. to seven. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it was a very cold night tonight. I mean, it's like, I think it's in the 40s right now. So it's very cold outside. I mean, it's just a huge score. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm guessing the pillar is ready to go home. Flag is on the play. Josh, I kind of wish they had a mercy rule where they'd end a the game at a certain point. I mean, Well, yeah. how many points ahead they get. I mean, yeah, but it's high school football. I mean, I'm guessing these guys only get as much playing time as possible. I mean, because I mean, I mean, colleges are looking at them and just things like that, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go home. Oh, yeah, it's a little chilly outside, not gonna lie. Under center, the ball's hand off to number four. Breaks a few tackles, but brought down for first down.
9.40 to go in this fourth quarter. Looks as if both teams are trying to let this clock just die down. Breaks a few tackles to get a big run right there. Good enough for a first down. I mean, Ross, I know you kind of see something like this second string players kind of coming in, getting some of that playing time right now, just to gain that experience for that team. Very much so. Four is looking to throw it downfield. Huge pass right there. It is caught. That pass is completed downfield inside the 10 yard line. First and goal. Ball is spotted on the eight yard line. Ross, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little too cold outside right now. Yes, it is freezing right now, I believe. I think I can feel my toes anymore. Quarterback in shotgun. Number four is going to run it himself. Brought down on the five yard line. Second and goal ball on the five yard line. Number four is trying to keep it for himself. Breaks few tackles brought down by number 50 and 78. 50 is, 78 is Matt Glenwald. And number 50 is Luke McFerrin. Does a trick play right there, even got the camera. And that might be a first down. You mean a touchdown? Yes. Oh, it is down on the one yard line. Fourth and one. Big play right here is pretty much the end of the game as of now. Only six minutes left to go. Faked it and he runs in it for the touchdown. That is a touchdown. Nevada Tigers. That's going to put their score 13 to 51. See what they do here. It looks like they're gonna go for two points. Oh, they're gonna decide to kick it. That field goal is good. Score here at Reed Springs, Nevada Tigers 14, Wolves 51.
Nevada Tigers are set to kick off. Decent kick. Looks like the ball will, will be taking a knee on the 20 yard line. There to receive the ball is Seth Stamps. Josh, we've seen Seth Stamps really perform great lengths tonight. Showing what he has to offer to all these colleges out here. Thinking about looking at him or sending offers his way. Jaden Herman in at the backfield. Sean Gross decides to keep the ball and brought down shy of the goal. Shy of a uh, line of scrimmage, actually. Three minutes left to go in this game. Second and eight. Ball in the 24-yard line. Josh, I think we're going to be able to put up a few points right here. Being the JV team is in. I mean, honestly, I was just kind of going here I and mean, just running down the clock and get ready to head out. Because, I mean, it's 50, 51 to 14. I mean, I'm just ready to kind of get, I'm guessing the guys are ready to get out of this cold and just head home and celebrate this huge win. Moving on to Districts uh, Game 2. That will either be against Mount Vernon or, as you said, whoever they're playing tonight. And we did beat Mount Vernon once this year by one point in like the final seconds of that game. Run down the middle. Right there, seeing his head down is Sean Gross, fighting for those yards, getting that first down. It's going to bring us into the two minute warning. I mean, Jonathan you, Foster, the ball carrier. I mean, you kind of see right now the Wolves are just trying to run down the clock right now just to, you know, just to get this game over with. Which is Evan Gross. Ten seconds left, and it looks like they're probably just going to run into clock out here. Uh, looks, to me, it looks like the quarterback's walking away from it. Your final score here at the lane, Nevada Tigers 14, Green Spring Wolves 51. Great game out there, Josh. I mean, it was a very good game. I mean, the Wolves definitely stepped up on their passing defense. It was great to see. And it looks like the Wolves are going to move on to the second round of the distance. 